What's cracking, everybody? I'm glad you're here with me. We're about to check out some new music from my boy, Ren. It's been a hot minute since we listened to some Ren together on this channel. I've been making my way down the Ren rabbit hole, as they say, and the big push, too, for that matter. And then I just kind of stopped, got distracted with some other stuff, and then we just haven't made our way back to it. So I was pretty excited today when I decided to look up Ren's music and see he's been dropping some new stuff that I didn't. I wasn't even aware of. I wonder if I, I don't even think I subbed to Ren, which is super weird. I'll have to remedy that. But we had several to choose from. I chose this song called Loco because it's a lyric video. And with Ren's accent, and I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of his, his flows and his music and his styles, sometimes it's hard for me to pick up on everything that he's saying. Um, I haven't listened to him outside of YouTube at all because we're doing this Ren thing together here on the channel. So... Um, this one is brand new to me. It's called Loco. It's a couple weeks old, but if for some reason you haven't heard this yet and it's going to bug you because I'm stopping and pausing and talking about it, then go ahead and click on that link right down there. Go to Ren's channel. While you're there, you should sub, you should leave a comment, and you should definitely, obviously, listen to this video there. And then pop back over here, hang out with us. We're going to check it out together. Now, please hit me up in the comments as to what you all think of this song, these bars, uh, and anything that's going on in Ren's life, I should be aware of. Like, I know we had a big album drop, you know, a while back. And uh, I'm excited to see what this is here. Oh, let me, whoops, let me bring this up on screen for everybody. There it is right there, loco. All right, word. Here we go, folks. Make this big screen. This is a lyric video, like I was saying, so I'm going to be able to see what he has. Um, every lyric video I've watched from him is pretty visually stimulating as well. Uh, I like him a lot. He, he puts a lot of effort into these. And honestly, I don't care if a lyric video is just that, a lyric video. But I like what Ren's team does here with this. Or maybe he does it, I don't know, whatever. But it's dope. My style is loco. Yoko on no manic vocal. Ah. I'm not your uncle, I'm antisocial. Ah. Danger to the world, I've gone global. Skins are Okay, right there. Like, well, I got to talk about these bars right there, man. This is why I love Ren. Dude has got a pen. Like, right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. He says, he's talking about, he opens up, he's got Loco, right? And then he goes right My into style Yoko is Ono. Loco. Yoko. My style is Loco. Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono, if for some reason you don't know, is John Lennon's uh, former uh, wife, girlfriend, and widely thought you know widely credited with breaking up the Beatles and being a little loopy so it's kind of funny that he's just referencing that right out from the start start and of course they're they're from uh England where I believe he's from as well forgive me if I've got that wrong the UK I like that I'm not your uncle I'm anti-social like aunt and uncle but also anti-social very good very good clever pen work Social postal danger to the world and then he's got postal danger to the world like it doesn't seem to be such a big thing anymore, but back in the day, they used to even have a term for it called going postal because so many workers in the United States Postal Service were just going crazy and like going to work and shooting the place up. It actually made a pop culture term called going postal. So it's, you know, I think that's also what he's referencing right there. Super dope. Super dope. I really like this. I'm not your uncle. I'm antisocial. That's that's a that's a nice double. Uncle, I'm antisocial. Postal danger to the world. I've gone global. Schizophrenic ah. menace. Put myself in the chokehold. Ah, schizophrenic menace. Put myself in a chokehold because he's schizophrenic. And one half of him gonna put the other half of him in a chokehold. Yeah. Ho ho. Yeah, bro. Tasty like a Rolo. Spiritual ah. being. Yes, I'm holy like a Polo. You oh. know, you can set this song as your ringtone. Lord of the ring ring. You could be Frodo. Gimli. I'm a Okay, he's, that's nice. Lord of the Ring Ring, talking about you could put the song as your the ringer on your phone, but he's Lord of the Ring, then a little shout out to the Lord of the Rings, Frodo, etc. That, that was dope. Let's run that back a little bit. I like this ho-ho, which is, um, when he's talking about Tasty, right after that ho-ho, at least in America, a ho-ho is um, it's like a Twinkie. Loco, Yoko on no manic vocal. I'm not your uncle, I'm anti social. Postal, danger to the world, I've gone global. Schizophrenic venice, put myself in the chokehold. Ho ho, yeah, bro, tasty like a Rolo. Spiritual being, yes, I'm holy like a polo. You wow. know, you can set this song. Like you said, I'm holy like a polo, and then it shows a lifesaver on there. 
Like, is that what a is a polo? Is that called a polo in England? Holy like a polo. Like I don't know. Like this looks like either a flotation device or a lifesaver candy, which is named after the flotation device. Well, you know, you can set this song as your ringtone. Lord of the ring, ring. You could be Frodo. Gimli. I'm going to take this with the man that smoke it like a chimney. Ma. I'm a Ma. punk rocker sucker. No, I'm not an indie. Kitty with a bindi. Yes, I will be indie. Shad taking my mads. I sl oh, man, I like that flow switch right there. A little beat switch, too. Very nice, man. Very nice. I told you I was going to stop it a lot, but this is dope, man. I'm so glad this is a lyric video. Oh, Gimli. I'm going to take this with the man that smoke it like a chimney. Ah. I'm a punk rocker sucker. No, I'm not an indie. Kitty with a bindi. Yes, I will. Kitty with a bindi. I don't know what a bindi is. That must be another UK thing. What's a bindi? Please let me know in the comments. Talking about, yes, I'll be in the shed taking my meds. We'll be in the shed taking my meds. I slice up beats like a knife through bread. Ah. When I go bowling, I used to capitate it. Had to Ah, I, I slice up beets like a knife through a bread. When I go bowling, I use decapitated heads, which you would have used the knife to slice those off too. Very nice, very nice. I lose brains in the lane, so they call me miscellaneous. I, I lose brains in the lanes. He's bowling with decapitated heads, so he's losing brains in the lanes. Yes, I will be in the shed, taking yeah. my meds. I slice up beets like a knife through bread. When I go bowling, I use decapitated heads. I lose brains in the lane, so they call me miscellaneous. So they call me miscellaneous. Oh, my God. Oh. See, that starts off like kind of like at first it sounds honestly like it's going to be a weak bar. I slice up beets like bread is not a strong bar, okay? But then he just builds on it, and he makes it fucking strong after that. He keeps using that same theme to talk about decapitated heads, and then bowling with them, and then losing the brains in the lanes. Like, it's, that's dope, dude. That's that's how you build on build up a rhyme scheme from just, like, a single bar, which would have been just kind of weak, to, like, a dope fucking rhyme scheme right there. Gimli. I'm going to take this with the man that smoke it like a chimney. I'm a punk rocker sucker. No, I'm not an indie. Kitty with a bindi. Yes, I will be indie. Shed taking my meds. I slice up beats like a knife through bread. When I go bowling, I use decapitated heads. I lose brains in the lane, so they call me miscellaneous. I'm the type of kid who makes cotton wool dangerous. Uh, Try not uh, not to I said I'm the type of kid that makes cotton wool dangerous. That being one of the safest things you could, you know... Through bread oh, when handle. I go bowling, I use decapitated heads. I lose brains in the lane, so they call me miscellaneous. I'm the type of kid who makes cotton wool dangerous. I'm trying hard not to lose my mind. Yeah. The I see stars when I close my eyes. Ah. The I like that. I try to keep this beast inside. Yeah. The wood. But I'm close to the edge and I might lose my head, so I guess you're better. My stay is one of those kind of songs i like these kind of songs i've heard a couple of these here from ren which i really like man because i deal with my own personal demons i think all of us do i've talked about them on this channel i've talked about depression i've talked about anger i've talked about rage inside you know what i mean there's just things that that that, that we we have to learn to deal with like for me i can't do the medication type things you know I, I medicate other ways all natural say what you will about it you know what i mean but when you see me smoking on this channel i'm not like like partying and having a good time man this this is how i i just for me that is a good stress relief that helps keep me level whereas like prescription medication could never do that for me like I've fallen off. Like, I got a video in here talking about openly about depression and a lot of the steps I was taking to overcome it. And I've fallen off a lot of those steps that I was taking, and I haven't been doing the things that I should do myself here. And I'm trying to, to straighten that ship back up and right the ship and get going back in the direction I should be so I can get, you know, over a lot of this depression and other shit that I've been battling with, right? But it's just COVID has been... Not COVID, but the the whole lockdown and the ramifications that it, that we keep feeling the echoes of here is just it's been a lot building, and I've fallen off my way. And when I hear music like this, it helps me feel better. It helps me identify that other people feel a lot of the ways that I feel, and 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 helps me refocus into things like that. You know what I mean? So this isn't just like a fun song with a fun beat and some some cool bars, but there's also like a bit of like truth in there that that can help people i feel at least for speaking for myself and i'm pretty confident in knowing that there's a lot of other at least men out there that feel that way as well manic close to the boil volcanic i watch yeah, so much yeah. hold, face on. Hold, hold on hold on he said close to the boil volcanic yeah man yeah dude yeah 
I, I like this whole chorus, man. I, this this chorus hits right here. The boy. I see stars when I close my eyes. The boy. I try to keep this beast inside. The boy. Yeah. But I'm close to the edge and I might lose my head So I guess you're better uh -huh. My style is manic Close uh, to the boil volcanic yeah. I watch so much Scarface I think I'm Hispanic <laughs> Okay, don't make me get local on USA Putos, I'll bust a cap Watch me get messy Mentos and <laughs> That was a nice little That was a nice little Scarface bit right there And then I see he's got the Mentos and Coke Which I mean, have, have you done that before? I think we all did as kids I mean, that just explodes everywhere, right? So he's still going with this whole theme of like like being on the edge and being explosive, close to a boil, which, I mean, Scarface was, you, you know what I mean? Especially at the end, of course, that was because of what he was doing in the movie to himself, but a lot of the pressures he was facing in the real world, or not the real world, but the, the world in his movie, you know. Panic, close to the boil, volcanic. I watch so much Scarface, I think I'm Hispanic. Uh, okay, don't make me get local on USA. Putos, I bust a cap, watch me get messy. Mentos and coke, I'm about to explode. I'm yeah. so open minded that my eyes can't close. Oh. Doctor, doctor, give me some smiles. A 20 pack of Valium, numb for a while. Flow like the Nile, evil crocodile. I've got the local zoo saved on speed dial. Ah. Funky, I spent a bit of time with the monkey. Ah. I gave one a Valium, now he's a junkie. Hump Another great rhyme scheme right there, and he circled it back around and brought the volume back in from the beginning of that right there, right? So he's talking about, he, and again, I, that's another Is example. Mentos and coke, I'm about to explode. I'm so open-minded that my eyes can't close. Doctor, doctor, give Hold me on. some smiles, a 20-pack of volume numb. Okay, so I'll show you, doctor, doctor, give me some smiles, a 20-pack of volume, volume numb for a while. And then... For a while, flow like the night. It seems like he's switching up the rhyme scheme right in the in the topic right here he's got flow like the nile which again that's not a strong bar okay we've heard that people talk about that all the time the nile is one of the most famous rivers of all time in the entire world in history so when you say you flow like the nile that's not really strong shit right but then he builds on it just like he did the knife slicing the bread shit okay weak beginning that you then you turn into something dope and he keeps on this whole bit with the with the animals, and then he circles back around with the volume. With the volume, this is really dope right here. You evil crocodile! I've got the local zoo saved on speed dial. Like he's the evil crocodile. He's got the local zoo saved on speed dial. Funky, I spent a bit of time with the monkey. Funky, spent a bit of time with the monkeys, and then boom. I, I gave, gave one a volume. volume. Now he's a junkie. Ah. Dumpty, dumpty, he fell down. All the king's horses were stumped somehow. Hmm. Of course all the horses were stumped. Horses don't even have opposable thumbs. <laughs> I'm trying not, not to lose my mind. <laughs> what did my guy just say? Alright. He lost me with the Humpty Dumpty. Hold I've on. got the local zoo saved on speed dial. Funky. I spent a bit of time with the monkeys. I gave one a Valium. Now he's a junkie. Humpty Dumpty, he fell down. Yeah, yeah. All the king's horses were stumped somehow. Hmm. Of course all the horses were stumped. Horses don't even have opposable thumbs. Horses were stumped because they don't have opposable thumbs, so they have stumps. <laughs> thumbs. I'm trying not, not to lose my mind. The boy. I see stars when I close my eyes. The boy. I try to keep this beast inside. Yeah. The boy. But I'm close to the edge and I might lose my head, so I guess you're better hide. I really like how his voice changes at the end right there. He uses. Ren uses voice inflection in his rap really well. Like, he's got a lot of different voices. It reminds me a little bit of M. M had a lot of different voices, too. At least, I, I gotta admit, I haven't listened to M in years, but I should. I should react to some Eminem. But I'm close to the edge and I might lose my head, so I guess you're better hide. My teeth start jottering, I'm stuttering, buttering words like flora. Edible, spreadable, star glow like aurora. More than light, ignite the night tonight. Excite the mic, right like a viper bite. It's just my venom, it's Renan, my lucky number seven. I don't follow fashion, so I'm wearing double denim. Ah. No Gibson crazy, my mind's a lethal weapon. Got kicked ah. out the fruit store for grabbing a ghost melon. Mel Gibson crazy, my mind's a lethal weapon. I like that bar. But I, I want to go back here. But I'm close to the edge and I might lose my head, so I guess you're better hide. Start juttering, I'm stuttering, buttering words like flora. Edible, spreadable, star glow like aurora. Northern okay. light, ignite the night okay. tonight, excite the mind. Aurora Borealis, Northern light.
I cry like a viper bite. It's just my venom. Like It's random. Okay. My lucky number seven. I don't uh, follow fashion, so I'm on my red double denim. Uh, Mel Gibson crazy. My mind's a lethal weapon. Mel Gibson crazy. My mind's a lethal weapon. Very famous, obviously, Mel Gibson movie where he was this crazy mofo. Got kicked out the fruit store for grabbing a girl's melon. Said get on with a baseball bat, I thought I'd rock up in. I'm knocking you for six when I hit with a beat, with a bang, with a boom. Ah. I'ma fly around this room, I'ma take off to that moon. I'ma rip when I spit, when I buy my living, I sit when I bust, I move like guess so. Ah. I'ma take this microphone and make some acapella. Ah. Music for your eardrums and spoke like a texture. Suck ah. it up like bricks, yes, I'm sucking up the texture. Hold up, hold up. That flow switch was dope right there, man. Ren, 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 Ren. Ren got mad skills. Ren is... Ren is really underrated. Like, if you know, you know. But, like, fucking nobody seems to know. Like, I don't hear this dude get mentioned in the top independent rappers at all, which I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know why yet. Because I F with all the independent rappers that are good. And Ren is never in that conversation. With a baseball bat, I thought I'd rock in. I'm knocking you for six when I hit with a beat, with a bang, with a boom. I'ma fly around right this room. I'ma take off to that moon. I'ma rip when I spit, when I buy my living, I sit when I bust, I move like ah. Esther. I'ma take this microphone and make some acapella music for your eardrums and vocal architecture. Ah. Stack it up like bricks, yes I'm. I really like that music for your eardrums. It's vocal architecture. Stack it up like bricks, yes I'm. Stacking up the texture. Up the texture, yes. Yeah. I bring the vibes right into the sector. I'm trying hard not to lose my mind, boy. I see stars when I close my eyes. Whoa, oh, oh. I love how the beat stops right there too. I try to keep this beast inside the void. Yeah. But I'm close to the edge and I might lose my head, so I guess you better hide. look with the, with the background obviously you see the, you see the backgrounds behind me i use all these graffiti backgrounds all the time dude that was sick that was really dope man i like ren a lot i like um his music in that one like that beat was really something different you know what i mean the beat was interesting his bars were interesting the visuals were interesting like that's how you do it and win when you're making a lyric video in my mind, like that, that whole thing, like everything about that was unique and yet it all worked very well. Like I, Ren is the shit. I'm excited to keep going down this Ren rabbit hole. Those bars were lit. I, I love the whole thing, man. That, that was really dope. I'm gonna go back and watch that again. I'm very appreciative of the fact that that's a lyric video. And also, and I'm gonna say it again, the, the time that whoever is making the video for him the fact that they're making it interesting to watch as well, because his bars are so good, it would be interesting with just the words, but they're adding so much extra, man. That was really good. Really good. What did you all think of that one, man? I, I really liked it. Ren proving once again, he belongs right up at the tip top of these independent rappers. When we're talking about who's the best, Ren needs to be in this conversation. We just can't be sitting here talking about Tom McDonald all the time or, or up church and ACAL and all these other guys. And I, like, Ren needs to be in this conversation as well. And I and by all means, those are not the only independent rappers, but I'm just, those are the big ones that are making noise these days. All right, everybody, I'm going to bounce on to the next video. I'm so glad you hung out with me today. Please consider giving me a subscription. We are inching so close to 10,000, man. I can't believe 10,000 people want to subscribe to this channel. I can't believe you all like hanging out with me. I'm so glad. I'm thankful for it because I love watching these videos with you guys. I love hitting you up in the comments. I love taking this journey back in the rap together. Whew, I'll see you all in the next video. All right, peace.